Good evening, my beautiful people of the internet. Andrew here, and welcome back to a non Ridge Hill Ford related video. Yes, I know, guys. Like, holy crap, have you forgotten that you're a vlogger for Christ's sake? Uh, well, apparently, yes, I have, but I don't know. So, today we're gonna be doing a walking video here in the. Oh, God, why is everything washed out? Mm, bitch, please. Okay, that's better. <laughs> So we're here, we're gonna do a walking video today in the old Cambridge train yard. So I thought that'd be an exciting project. So I guess guys, like always, please stand by while I flip the camera. So we can walk around this place. Well guys, I don't know why it always likes washing out like that, but apparently my front facing camera is a moron. Well, all cameras are morons. Our camera is morons though, because you have to be sentient to be considered stupid. That's actually a really, really deep question. Really deep. But yeah, fuck that. Right here we have some Canadian Pacific work vehicles. Pretty awesome. I need to watch out for them bitches though because Canada Pacific or Canadian Pacific or whatever the fuck they call themselves, CP really hates when you film <laughs> their tracks and all that kind of stuff, so. Yeah, so first we're just gonna start walking around by the old building. If there's some lens flares, I do apologize, but we're gonna be walking in that direction soon, so we should be okay. So yeah, here's the old station. This thing's been here forever. Is it considered historic? I'm not sure. I'm not really sure. But yeah, hey bitches. <laughs> but yeah. Vandalizing such a beautiful property. How dare you? See? Let's hope it doesn't go hell, but see that little... Why is it so freaking... Uh, please stand by. Okay, that's slightly better. Like I was saying, that little bridge thing there, that's the train overpass on Water Street. And if you can see behind there, those are the towers of GCI, or... Gold Collegiate Institute, whatever you want to call it. Kind of fun fact, but yeah, this place is pretty awesome. Well, if you're a rail enthusiast like I am, it's kind of awesome. If not, it's just a dusty, barren wasteland with a bunch of train tracks, which it also is, you can't deny, but it's just the point of view of the person looking at it. Or in my case, listening to it because blind <laughs> so yeah i am a hundred percent sure we're not going to be seeing a train today because of course i filmed a few videos down here and the only time i've got a train on camera was around this time last year and yeah bitch <laughs> no trains for today if there is i'll be excited if there isn't Nah. I've already kind of accepted it, so disappointed wouldn't be the word I would use. Be kind of a letdown because I would like to show you guys a train, but I don't know. But yeah, we just need to watch out for the CP because they're gonna bust my ass. <laughs> Canadian Pacific are really brutal. So are CN though, Canadian National. Those are our two trend lines. I think CP is the more brutal one though. They'll shank your ass. They'll shank your ass. But yeah, I know what you're all thinking, Andrew, why are you doing a video? I don't know. Oh yeah, why are you doing a video if you're worried about getting caught? But that's just the fun of it, guys. Getting caught, the risk, it makes you feel so alive. <laughs> but yeah. Normally I have a scale of places you should check out. Number one, check it out. Number two, proceed with caution. And number three, don't check it out, you fucking moron. And this place, 
I guess maybe we would go with check it out because it is public property. This right here, the jury's out on that one. I'm not sure if this is public property, but if it isn't, so fucking be it. But yeah, there's a really cool section with a graffiti wall. I wonder if that's still there. So I'll show you that in a couple minutes. I wanna keep this one about 20 minutes. I still have to save enough battery to do my ritual for day six video. Shut the fuck up. I know, I know, guys. But like I said, we're gonna have to do it until she's a pile of rubble. And right now, she's still standing. But at least I'm doing something non-car dealership related, so give me a break. Give me a break, guys. Please. That would be very appreciated. So this apparently leads nowhere. But yeah couple cool trains and I'm gonna face the camera this way because it's really bright in front of me. It's nice part about this gimbal though I can film backwards while walking forwards. It's just one of the cool things. Is that a crudely drawn monkey on that train car? Fucking looks like one. <laughs> done a video down here in a while though so I'm happy like I said I think I've been down here maybe like four or five times but I haven't done a video dedicated to it yet it's just me walking through just me walking through but doing things things that are completely legal. See that apartment there, Cambridge Park? Yeah, I used to live there, so let me zoom in. Yeah, so I used to be able to watch the trains from my balcony, hell, from my bedroom even. So it was funny, I knew what time of day it was because of what train was passing at the certain time. Oh, the noon train, it's better better get lunch started oh the morning train it's time to get up yeah i told my time via trains which sounds really fucking stupid i know but who cares trains are awesome that's all that really matters in this world i want to see some trains for god's sakes but yeah If I'm not mistaken, my friend was down here the other day trying to film some trains and one of these freaking CP assholes stopped him. <laughs> yeah, I posted that on Facebook. I was like, shit. First of all, that's a great idea. I need to come down here. Second of all, it's like. Hmm. So yeah, there's the overpass, guys. If you guys watch my Route 58 detour video, we went over that overpass. So, it's kind of cool. Kind of cool. Yep, there's one of them. Let me zoom in. I see you, bitch. So we're gonna avoid that patrol. They have their own fucking police, huh? <laughs> Come stop me. I dare you, bitch. Like I said, this is private. Not private, public property, so...
I'm doing nothing malicious. But yeah, they stopped the guys with the cameras, but the homeless people doing drugs under here? Oh no, that's okay. That's completely okay. That Rick is total ass. Come on. If you're going to vandalize stuff, at least put some effort into it because all this is complete, washed out, and ugly ass. Yeah. I don't understand the purpose of drawing cocks everywhere. <coughs> Fuck you, kid. Oh yeah. See some more locomotives and it's all washed out again. Come on. I am so scared. No, the fuck I'm not. <laughs> Sorry about the wind. Ooh. Oh, fuck. <laughs> but here's where I was talking about. All this awesome graffiti here. Yep, that's where I saw the train last time. I was back when I did the series called Walk and Talk. Oh boy, that was a long time ago. Walk and Talk part nine, to be precise. Senior's Day at the Cannabis Cupboard. You have to watch that video to understand that reference, but bitch please. It was hilarious. I am hilarious. No, I'm not hilarious, I'm redonkulous. But yeah. Zoom in a little bit. Perfect thumbnail. Beautiful. But yeah, isn't this? Yeah, they kind of go over each other all the time, but it's such a cool freaking place. But yeah, some graffiti can be really good looking. I forgot to show you this one though. <laughs> it's hidden, but it is really hilarious. Hidden would be the wrong word I would use. Yeah, A little skunk. And what it says, let me get that out of the way. Yeah, come on, come on. Blank walls stink. Blank walls are legal. That's what I should say. But when it's stuff like this head here, in my opinion, that's when shit looks awesome. Not bull by excrement like that fucking pathetic attempt at a Rick over there. Oh, come on. Do Rick and Morty some justice. <sighs> Bitch, please. Blank walls stink. I like that. I really do like that. It's just really cool. So, we're gonna walk down to Delta Station and We'll end it off when we get down there. So, from there we'll go to Canamara Station, do my Ridge Hill Ford video. But, yeah. This looks absolutely fucking terrifying. A 
have no idea what this is. I've seen it before, but yeah. Weird. Weird. I have no idea what that is or why it is. I think this is pretty cool. You're wondering why I'm facing the camera that way. It's just really sunny. Sun equals lens flares, and lens flares equals a, a really pissed off Andrew. But yeah, it was really busy there when I got here, but I think that's because of the closure act. Or what's the street that's closed? I'm not sure. Beverly, I think. pool is open, but I don't know why. That advertisement is down here at the Delta. But I want to show you this. Right over here. This is really cool. Sorry, I know the wind, guys. I'm sorry. I don't think it's been that bad. But yeah. This was from Joy Manufacturing. <laughs> yeah, that's the old factory complex they demolished back in 2019. I've showed you that a couple times. And oh Jesus Christ, lens flares. You know what the thing about lens flares is? Horrible audio. I could put some music in the background. I could still make it something cool, but when it's not, uh, But when it's the freaking video quality, that's fucked up. Yeah, it's pretty much game fucking set and match. That's a lot of freaking pylons. Yep, we'll do a walk-in video up by Beverly tomorrow. Because I've been neglecting you guys. Chester Public School. Oh, come on. Bitch, please. You're not the Panthers. Glenview Park was the Panthers. Wannabe fucking Panthers. More like wannabe whores. Yeah. One day we'll do a walk-in video down at the Delta, but 
I'm not sure. But we've done a lot of content at the Delta before. Nothing Delta Pacific. Like, what is this? We're talking about Canadian Pacific again? No, bitch. Delta specific, but. Yeah. is a slide on that roof. I'll allow it. <laughs> you haul Some used vehicles. Anything new going on at the KFC? Let's go check it out. Looks more overgrown than it did last time I was here. Shit. Shit. Oh, awesome KFC. I didn't even notice that. There's a cool KFC label scar there. And Taco Bell label scar. Beautiful. It's really overgrown. Fuck. Kind of crazy. Some history or something, man? Yep. Some history? Yeah, I just documented the city. Oh, okay. You gotta edit it until you finish, right? Yep. What program you use to edit? Uh, something called LumaFusion. It's on the iPad. Yeah. I use coral. Oh, awesome. <laughs> yeah, we can make it. We can make it. Eight, seven, six, five. <laughs> Fuck yeah. ask you about what you're doing, but not being a dick about it. <laughs> there used to be a store called Price Choppers. Then it's still all compliments, but they just rebranded, I think. No, it's not like they went under. That used to be a Wendy's. And that, my friends, used to be the Taco Bell. And behind that, I don't know if we're gonna be able to see it. Maybe when we get to Delta Station, but there's an EB Games and a Starbucks. That used to be a country style donuts. We had like almost like six of them here in frickin' Ooh, Nova. We had literally about six of them in Cambridge. My sister used to work for a country style. Really cool. No, 
out videos online about Cambridge. This is a great city. No, who am I kidding? Cambridge is fucking boring, but... But only people from Cambridge can say Cambridge is boring. If you came from anywhere else, Y'all do not have the right to insult Cambridge. Because your boy was born and raised in Galt, so he has the right to insult Cambridge all he wants. Twenty-three minutes. Beautiful. Shit, she's warm. Well, yeah, I haven't gotten my, what was it yet? 20% battery notice, so we'll be good for my ritual video. Honestly, I'm getting fucking sick of doing that place too, but driving past, a lot of progress was done today. I was planning to do an evening update yesterday, but life got in the way. I wasn't able to do that. But... Yeah, who really cares? But yeah, they completely tore up all of... Oh, those are new, like little benches. But they tore up all of Delta Station for some reason. But now apparently we have a bunch of benches, so that's nice. Even in the shade, it's really hot. Fuck. Oh, I'm just praying the quality's pretty good. That's all I want. No lens flares, winds up. Seriously, guys? When you see a Canadian flag on the back of a car now, what do you think? Somebody that's very patriotic or some douchebag that went to Ottawa? <laughs> I'm not saying everybody who was at that convoy was a douche. I'm just saying the people that stayed there for like a month and harassed a bunch of little old ladies. There are what I would call douches, but... Dying Wish Tattoo. I would go there, but... He seems more into realism, but... All my tattoos are... What I call... They're not really typical traditional, they're more... A mix between traditional and neo-traditional. Oh look, two buses. Awesome. But I need the aisle bus.
promise you guys when this heat wave is over we'll be doing a lot more videos but just as you guys know I have a laundry list of health issues and the one thing my doctor tells me stay the fuck out of the heat <laughs> then I go do things like sitting in a Ford dealership's parking lot for three hours filming it being demolished be one of the best life decisions in the world, but... It's just really funny because I think was it last week or the week before, there was an issue with the ION and the train service had to stop for the entire line. Everybody was complaining about that they had to take a freaking shuttle. Everybody. But then I may I remind the people of Kitchener and Waterloo, all we have in Cambridge is 302 ION bus, so. And the, we, the people of Cambridge, also paid for half of your light rail. And we just got pretty buses. <laughs> yeah, keep your mouth shut. Speaking of ion buses, that's a really fine looking specimen over there. Oh, everything's all washed out again. Ew. Yeah, I don't know why the camera does that all the time. It's really irritating. Ooh, 30 minutes. I was aiming for 20, but yeah. Since I announced no short, no, no longer videos, I don't think we've broken an hour yet. We might have. I'm gonna look, but I don't think so. Because I announced that on my downtown Gulp walking video, and but the problem with it then was I just had a huge freaking backlog of videos I needed to edit and upload. But now it's mostly just the heat is literally fucking killing me. So. Yeah, bitch.
these are out of service on the outside too. Sometimes they just put the wrong display inside, but nope, she's out of service. <laughs> I know I said I was gonna end this video up at Delta Station, so I have absolutely no fucking idea what I'm doing now. Which is usually how things do work. <laughs> still out on the quality but I think it's pretty good so yeah I think that's it for this one we'll just send her off in front of Ridge Hill and we'll do that catch route 51 a and take my beautiful ass home so I can edit hey bitches sexy sexy Sexy, sexy shadow, but yeah, whatever. center's gone guys that's insane so brothers and sisters please stand by while I flip the camera so we can end this video off I know I know I said this video would have nothing to do with Rich Hill Ford but I lied So, yeah, I guess that's all for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the walk through the train yard, the Delta, and partial of Hespler Road. So, like always, my friends, live life to the absolute fullest. And goodbye, you glorious motherfucker.